You see this on your power bill every month, kilowatt hours. But what actually is a kilowatt hour? Most people have no idea. And once you understand it, energy stops being abstract and starts being real. Let's break it down. A kilowatt hour is simple. It's 1000 watts of power used continuously for one hour. It's a measurement of energy consumption over time. In the US, one kilowatt hour costs about 12 cents on average. But what does it actually buy you? One kilowatt hour can run a 50 inch LED TV for about 20 hours. Not bad for 12 cents. Run a window air conditioner, you get about one hour. A clothes dryer, 18 minutes. Same energy, vastly different results depending on what you're powering. Now here's where it gets interesting. The average US home uses about 30 kilowatt hours per day. That's about 11,000 kilowatt hours per year. So how much fuel does it take to generate that? If you're burning coal, you need about 34 pounds of coal to power one home for one day. That's a lot of coal every single day. For a whole year? That's over 12,000 pounds of coal per house. At 12 cents per kilowatt hour, that home is paying about $1,300 a year for electricity. Now, let's talk about nuclear power. This is one kilogram of uranium fuel, about 2.2 pounds, roughly the size of a soda can. How many homes can this power for an entire year? Well, 166 homes for a year from this tiny amount of fuel. Let me put that in perspective. 12,000 pounds of coal powers one home for one year. One kilogram of uranium powers 166 homes for one year. That's the difference in energy density. And those 166 homes, they're collectively paying about $216,000 for their electricity that year, all generated from a piece of fuel you could hold in your hand. Coal versus nuclear. Same energy output, unimaginable difference in fuel required. What about solar? A standard residential solar panel needs about two and a half hours of peak sunlight to generate one kilowatt hour. A typical home rooftop array, about six kilowatts of panels, generates around 915 kilowatt hours per month. That's enough to power an entire average home, just from the roof. Over a year, that's about 11,000 kilowatt hours, which would normally cost that homeowner $1,300. But with solar, after the initial installation cost, the fuel is free. The sun doesn't send a bill. No fuel to mine, no emissions, just sunlight converted directly into electricity. So that's a kilowatt hour, the unit that measures how we power everything. 12 cents. But what it represents, the fuel, the infrastructure, the economics, that's what makes energy fascinating. Coal, nuclear, solar, all generating the same kilowatt hours, but in completely different ways with completely different costs and consequences. This is Behind the Switch. Follow me for more breakdowns on how power actually works. Because energy isn't magic, it's engineering.